hello everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video is how the 21st olu of Wari kingdom the omoba prince tosola emiko he performed the traditional iken rites it's a significant ceremony for the ichekiri meaning the processing towards the crowning of the olu of Wari. He gone into the second leg and he's going to return to the community of Ode Itekiri for the proper crony of the Olu of Wari. And the Wari national item was sung during this process. Guys, just stay tuned and watch the way everything went on. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just hold on and watch. I hope to see you in my next video, guys. It's really indeed a beautiful ceremony. Take it, take it, where, where we are coming from now is called Ijala. That is the Royal Cemetery. It's a critical step towards where we are going, which is ascendancy to the throne. So that's the significance of what we are just achieved today. Okay, so sir, why is the presence of the Omoba so important to you? Yeah, because in the last case, it's a lot of worry. In fact, from today, we have started to worry with them. So technically, we have become the today. We have become the best to do for them. So, if you start here, then there's no income going to Ijana. Okay, why the change of clothes of the Omoba? This is the regalia. From now on, it's going to fix it. regalia will change and get more going. Okay, so this is the first step. As I said, going to Jala, it has come back. Between now and Coronation Day, it's going to be in seclusion of what we call Danike, where you will go through a lot of other tutelage, you know, by the elders of the land, by the chiefs, by some elders of the family, and some of our families. So that's, that's how it goes. So what is the next step leading to the coronation? I just said it. I said it's going into a Danike. So from here now, it's going straight into a Danike. It's not going back into his house. It's going to a place prepared for him to go through the Danike rise. What we have completed today are the burial rites for the immediate uh, past to you. And he's going now to begin the Danike rites, which will take two lunar months, uh, which is about three months, I guess, thereabouts, for him to go through all of those other processes, preparatory to becoming the best to rule for him at, at a date that will come after the three months. Okay, lastly, sir, what is your general message of peace to the Shekiris? Well, we are Shekiri people. We are known for peace. We are known for uh, egalitarianism. We are, we are very... Uh, people say we are proud people. Yes, we are proud, but we are proud with a method. Therefore, if we have any differences, we must come together. This is the time to come together. And I've seen a whole lot of our people who are on the other side. And as I always say, it's, it's, it's not new at all. We have always, always struggled for the throne. Once the throne becomes vacant, there will be struggle within the royal family. And eventually, only one person will wear the crown. And that person has emerged, and a whole lot of us will therefore rally around him to ensure that we have a very beautiful ceremony here in Odishakiri in the next three months. And I invite all of you, you're going to see how beautiful it's going to be.
significant of today's ceremony as you've heard from my friend and brother this is the second leg of a very important you know uh, process that we started on the 1st of april um the omoba today has performed the iken rights and immediately after this is going into seclusion for a period of what you can say is two and a half months. Three months, really, but our, in our custom is uh, lunar months, which is usually 27 days or 23 days, as the case may be. This ceremony is very significant to the Shekiris. It means the processes towards crowning the Olu of Wari has gone into its second leg. And by the grace of God, in a time not too far from now, we shall all return to this community in Ode Shekiri to perform the proper crowning of the law for it. Okay, sir, we seem to have some people that are the, are the other side or the other side too. What is happening right now? Is there, yeah, there is no there, there is there, there, As you can see, if you are a Shekiri man, you would have noticed today that a large number of Shekiris, even those that, you know, people will think are in opposition, they were all here today to witness this very important ceremony. The Shekiris, we do not have differences. At times like this, you know, we could have issues, but a time comes when everybody comes together, you know, to remain one and push the kingdom forward. This was very clear to this ceremony. So lastly, sir, like I always said, what is your message to your Shekiri brothers? Let everybody come together and let's have a glorious day when we are going to coronate our king. Thank you very much. Well, my name is uh, Chief Solomon Arayeka JP, the son of Wari and the director of Palace Protocols. Okay, so leading to the coronation, we had some people that are complaining that it's not this one, it's not so right now. What is the way forward now? Well, I think we have passed that stage. Uh, everybody is already on the forward march to the day of coronation. We have passed that stage. Today's ceremony has been so fantastic. People have not seen for the past uh, three, four months. I saw all of them on the river, so on their boats, and so on and so forth. So we're already moving forward and we're getting there. It's just for the Shekri Nation to sit down and get directives from the Central Working Committee to take dates for the coronation and so on and so forth. We're already there. Okay, so we saw people from the other side coming together with all the issues and the last one. So would I say there have been a reconciliation between you and the other definitely, factions? Definitely there's something unique about the Shakiris, and that has been our hallmark right from creation. We may disagree over certain issues, but once we see the truth, everybody falls in. And together, we we'll always get there. Uh, when you mention this on the uh, other side, I want to advise that we de-emphasize 
your other side, other side, other side. Other side started. They started on views. They started on what they wanted, but they did not uh, debase tradition for taking this normal course. Now tra tradition has been fulfilled, and everybody has decided to follow what is true, uh, what is good for us, uh, what is fitting to the sacred people. We are known for color. We are known for decency. We are known for beauty, like you could see today when we went for the ceremony. Okay. So, sir, your message last night? My, my message is for the Shakiris to continue to see themselves as one, despite any differences. And I want to admonish us to maintain the culture that we have maintained from time in the Once we disagree, we must always disagree to agree. And once there is need for us to agree, we agree in total. And I'm sure that uh, for now, the Shakiris are one. Whether from America, from the United Kingdom, from Dubai, from everywhere you can find Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good to you.